Good morning. Today is Monday, May 9th, and I am on NQ today. And today, you'll actually see I did not have a great trading session. <laughs> I uh, took, had a bad fill, took a couple bad trades, um, had some good trades, but the problem is I did not, and I haven't done this in a while, it's been quite some time, but I broke my rule on my money management. And I mean, we're all human, we make mistakes, and the key is to recognize when we make those mistakes and don't let it, you know, destroy your trading day. Have the awareness to say, I need to stop. Now, today, I mean, so I broke my, my trading, my money management rule by, I did not over, well, I didn't trade past my daily loss limit or past my profit limit, my profit goal, because I shoot for 40 ticks total profit in a day. And if I lose 40 ticks in the day, I stop. So I did not cross either one of those. So that's the good news. <laughs> The bad news is my other rule about that is I take no more than three total trades in a day. And I took about five trades today. So that's where I broke my rule. That's where um, I'm upset with myself on that. And I mean, I did end up making profit today. So I ended up in a green day. So that's the good thing. But I, I took a couple more trades than I should have for my money management rule. So I'm gonna get started on the video here. Um, I am, like I said, on the NASDAQ NQ. And what I'm doing right now is, as you can see, I'm. it's 8.26 in the morning, Eastern time. I'm looking, I'm waiting for a breakout pretty much at this point. Um, as you can see, the market, was up here, it's kind of trended down, downwards. Um, again, I mentioned this in quite a bit of my videos. You can see I have this cyan line here, right? That's uh, what we call a wall. Now it came down to it, hit it, kind of bounced around a little bit, bounced off of it a couple times, couldn't break it, finally broke through, came back up and tested that line again. So at this point, I need a trend, a nice trend to happen because I just started my trading, right? So if this back here was a trend down, there may have been some trades back here that I would have take, taken because my trade is a low risk entry of, which is a pullback of a nice trend. So if this was a nice trend, I may have had an entry somewhere in here, maybe here, maybe here. I, I don't know at this point because I didn't really look further back. Whenever I'm looking back to see what happened when I started my day, I don't look to see if there was trades that I missed because I don't care. The reason why I don't care is because I can't do anything about it now anyways. <laughs> right? So that's there's no point in looking back saying, ooh, that was so nice. I could have had a trade here. Could have had a trade there. You know, man, I should have got on earlier. No, because then you're creating... A sense of urgency for yourself you're creating some fear of missing out some FOMO right away and you don't want to go into your trading day like that you just want to look and see what happened where the market was and then going forward let's you know go forward <laughs> um, so here we are I'm waiting for I, I need basically a nice break below this area here or above because uh, I mean, yeah, that's because you could you can clearly see we have a nice little range that's formed here. So at this point, I'm waiting, uh, and so there's a couple lessons you're gonna learn here too when it comes to my LREs and my my trading style. And you'll see that coming pretty soon. 
So I'm just going to bring it fast forward a little bit here. Okay. Let's see. All right, so now it's breaking out. Okay, pulled back up, tested this top again, breaking short. Okay. It's breaking short, so we wait for the the, tr the trend. Okay. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, so I show my simplicity chart right here to see. You see, it was, it was coming down. This was before I got on, right? As I mentioned, I'm not, I don't really care about all that. I just want to see what happened. So then it went sideways. So this is that range I was talking about. It's hitting the top and bottom, top and bottom. Okay. And it broke out. It technically gave a simplicity entry here. Well, I'm sorry. It, it didn't because it already gave a simplicity back here and it never reset. So it never flipped green to reset. And it did a lot of chopping. So I want it to break lower. But you'll see what happens here in a second. I'm going to. Here's my 30 tick. I'm pretty much showing all the chop. See? All this chop clusters that happens on this zone. I don't want to take anything in this zone. So now I'm waiting. And I'm going to fast forward a little bit again. Okay, so here we go. I just said I don't want to take anything in this zone. I'm going to pause it right here. And this is why also it's important to do chart review every day because sometimes we take trades we really shouldn't have taken. <laughs> um, so here was my logic though. Let me tell you what I was thinking while I did this. I just showed you the simplicity chart, right? Let me fat, or rewind it back a little bit to show you the chart. Okay. Here's the simplicity chart where my mistake was looking at this saying, here's an entry right at this deviation, right? They're both angling down, broke this low. My mistake was through all this chop that happened, I never really, I mean, I noticed, but I don't know if I forgot, but it never reset to tell me that this was going to be a valid simplicity. Now, if this ran down here and gave a pullback, I, I don't mind that as much because I kind of look at this like as a almost like it technically didn't reset. But when it goes sideways and chops for so much and ranges up and down, up and down, and then breaks out, you know, a mo many, most times that you can go ahead and take another LRE. But look how many times it hit this. Let me fast forward again. Look how many times right here. If I can get it there. On this simplicity run down here, it pulled up, gave an LRE, could have taken it. Pulled up again, LRE, taken it. There's two. Another time, another time, another time. <laughs> so it's eventually not going to work out, right? That's why we only stick to taking two. My brain, it was Monday morning. I don't know if I was not awake yet or what happened. I saw this, thought it was an entry. So it pulls back. I'm thinking in my head, if it pulls back to the solid line, this was my thinking on it. I'm not saying this was correct, but this was my thinking. If it pulls back to the solid line, like it's supposed to on LRE, but if it does that, and it's up back up here at this top that it has not been able to break. Well, maybe that's a resistance point that I can get another bounce from. So that was my thinking. That was not good thinking. So let me fast forward it back. 
So here it comes. Okay. Waiting for it to pull up. Okay, it's going up, going up. Now. My thinking was technically technically worked. The problem is I got a horrible fill on this. I wanted to get filled right up here off this gap level, this yellow gap level between that and this mini magnet up here, this white level. Right there's where I hit the button when it hit there. But look where I got filled way down here. <laughs> so had I gotten filled right here where I wanted, my stop would have been up here instead of my stop being right now where I wanted my entry. So that was already horrible. So I took a very quick loss. And I was like, oh my gosh, that was a horrible fill. Check this out. See, I wanted to get filled right up in here. Basically where I got stopped out is where I wanted to get filled to enter the trade. But I got filled way down here. Horrible. So now I'm like, okay, this thing is going to work. It's still hovering right here where this LRE is, where I'm thinking it's an LRE is. <laughs> and I'm saying, and I say to myself, okay, this is going to work. It's going to come down right here, start setting up exhaustion, a TX. Okay. This red box here is the exhaustion box and the inside it is trapped orders. So I am automatically saying, okay, my, th my thought process is going to work on this one. Let me jump in it again. <laughs> I'm telling you, my Monday was not a good Monday. My brain was scattered. It worked. So now I'm back to break even, right? So there we go. Profit hit. Filled. Orders filled. Now I'm back back to break even. Okay, so let me pull up the chart here again. Let's see, where are you? Okay. Okay. Here's the 50 tick chart. See, that was also, I'm pointing out, that was at the top of this here we had one, two, three, four, five chop blocks. To the left, that was another little chop space. So we came back up, we hit the top. That was my thinking too. Okay, that's the th the top. That's an LRE, it's gonna go bounce, give me a bounce. So that was part of my thought process. Okay. Now, let me show you the simplicity chart. Here was that bad one. Here was the second one that you know, it really was bad too. Just plain and simple. I'm just gonna be honest. That was bad. Now we're looking to go long. So we got a long setup now. Okay. Now here's the breakout. So it came there, pulled all the way back down, broke out. Now it's probably, you know, gonna head back up to the top. And let's see, let's fast forward a little bit. So as it's coming up, I'm looking for a LRE to pull back, right? Because that's what I do. Look for pullbacks. This thing's trending up, you see? Nice trend. Hit this white mini magnet and wall. Usually a strong level when it's together. Okay. Hit it, pulled back down, went up, made a higher high. 20% of the volume, 25. So if this reverses down, that could signal the end, maybe. So let's see what happens. Okay. If it comes down, you know, a nice little rundown, basically. But it's a nice, strong trend up. Okay, I have down here, well, I guess you can't see because down here you'll see after this little play bar moves. Um have my my trend bias here. It's completely green. 
Okay. Showing you here, we have strong trend up. Here's a, a crash on top of that gap level. So if it pulls back, I'd want an LRE right on top of that. Hit that, jump in to go long and go up. That's what I would be looking for right there. So there it's coming down to it. Okay. Kind of messed the chart up there. It's coming down to it. We have HD. So it made a higher low than the previous pullback. Pulled back, not as low, on 274% more volume. So this is signaling it could run up, even after we had an exhaustion of volume. Now, what I, I wanted my LRE to bounce to, I wanted this to happen right here off of this yellow level, the gap level, because that also has that ZOI crash on it that I just showed on the 30 tick. That's where I would want this to happen so I could take a bounce. So, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. There it goes. And since I did not take the trade, there was not an LRE entry. The LRE entry is, in fact, lower down here. And I'm going to show you something that I have noticed very important in just a second. <laughs> just a second. It's coming. Because I am going to take an LRE here. I'm going to show you exactly why I should not have. See, I'm measuring out right now where I want my LRE. And it's getting close. Okay, it's coming down to it. And boom. LRE. And... That was a quick loss. Okay. I'm going to explain exactly why I should not have taken this trade. Let me see if I pull up the simplicity chart real quick. Okay. Here's a simplicity chart. See, it pulled back. I got in here. Got in right here where I should have. And got knocked out. And then it ran up. But this is why I should not have taken this trade. And this is why I don't like this, these type of LREs. Look, beautiful trend up, right? Trend, little chop here, runs up, pulls back, runs up higher high, 40% of the volume after a nice long run up. That could have signaled the end of this run. Now, where I told you I wanted my LRE right here would have been perfect. Because it would have been a higher low. It would have been right here is higher than this pullback here. And it had all that HD on it. That would have been perfect to bounce up there. But my entry was way down here. So I had to wait. And since it came down, look, it pulled back. It gave a straight run all the way down here. With this ODD here. And then this leg right here running way lower, twice as low as this one. I should have expected that this probably won't win. If anything, I should have expected this to come down to at least where this chopped right here. You see how this chopped? And look what it did. It sure did come down right to that top of that chop and then bounced. That's what I should have expected. Since I didn't get an LRE here and this ran down here, I should not have expected. There's nothing to tell me it's going to stop here. Why did I take that? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes we do that stuff. This is why chart review is so important. So, another loss. So now I'm down one loss. Right? So now it's going back up. That was an LRE. It was an LRE. See? But now it's flipped. It's reset. So now I need to either wait for a trend down or for it to flip back to green and run up. 
So let's fast forward here a little bit. Okay. And then here. Okay. So this technically was a short entry. I'm telling you, my thinking was all messed up today. Technically, because they're both angling down, this one broke the low. Barely. This could have been the end of the run. This was a nice run down. So, but for me, I like for this to trend down further first and then pull back. But it gave me a slight entry and then it pulled back to that, uh, to up here in this area, this yellow gap level and wall. So I took it as a short. So when I'm looking at this chart here, I already see it got rejected up here. So now I took it off of this level again to go short. That's why I took this one. And it was ODD again. See, it runs up, pulls back a little bit. Pulls back. Goes back up. Four, 10, 14%. Off this wall, hits the solid line. I see it's getting rejected. It's at 26%, 27, 28, 30%. I jump in to go short. And and it gets the win. So now I'm back to even again. <laughs> but now at this point, I, I say to myself, because see, this goes further, and I'm at this point, see, I bring up the chart again. And at this point, I'm like, wow, what am I doing? So I minimize my charts. And I say to myself, I'm back to even. I took one more trade than I should have. I have not traded very good at all today. I should stop. So I took a little break, and I waited. And then I said, well, then, then, you know, the market opened and I said, let me check YM, I'm sorry, not YM, yeah, YM here after the open and see if I can grab me a, a nice trade. So what I did is I did that as my fifth trade. I should not have been trading and I did grab me one more. I actually did not get it on video. Because I stopped video recording and tell, told myself, you know, it's time to stop. I'm going to get off. And then, and then I saw an entry and I took it. I don't believe I recorded it. Let me make sure. And yeah, I did not get it recorded. And I took it and I grabbed 40 ticks off of it because now the market was open. Yeah. Oh, I did get it there. It was a, it was a. Well, did I pull up the, yeah, so, and that was it. I called it a day after that one. I don't think I even pulled up the simplicity chart because I was upset with myself that I took extra trades that I shouldn't have. And I called it a day at this point. I did hit my target. Well, not my target, but I did hit, and you know, I ended the day profitable. But look, so my net profit, yes, I did. But, uh, where is it? 51%. I mean, and, and I took way too many trades. Way too many. Now, this is, it says total 43 trades, but that's not 43 trades. That's that's because I trade multiple contracts. Um, But yeah, I mean, that was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Ended up in the profit, but had a traded very bad, um, bad trades, a couple bad trades, and traded, took two more trades than I should have. So this just goes to show you, you know, I, I don't want to only post my winners every day, two winners, like if I can never lose and never do anything wrong. No, you know, everybody, we're human. Everybody every now and then is going to have a day like this. And... You know, just goes to show you the next day uh, is another day. So that's it. That's it for today. Hope everybody enjoys the rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow.